What's up everybody, this is Mike and today's video will be all about the new DJI Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0. So DJI has just released a brand new drone. Uh, they did a quiet release without any big announcements or live events that we can follow online. So plenty of people are not aware that actually this drone is now released. But uh, this is the purpose of this video to let you guys know that there is a brand new drone from DJI. Uh, it's not a big update by any means and uh, we're going to get to that. But first I want to get a quick disclaimer out there that I do not own this drone. This video will be just my thoughts on this new release. Unfortunately I'm not rich enough to buy every single drone that uh, is announced by DJI. I would love to but for now I don't have the chance to do that. But anyway that doesn't stop me from expressing my opinion on this drone and potentially giving you guys some thoughts on whether you should buy this drone or not. Unfortunately, there isn't any big uh, announcement of any new feature that is going to completely blow you away uh, simply because this is a very simple incremental update of this new Phantom 4 Pro. Um, unfortunately, DJI has all the power on the market right now so they can allow themselves to release very simple and small tweaks on their drones and re-release them as a new drone so this is the case with the Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0 that's also uh, the reason why the name is uh, 2.0 it's just because it's a small update with minor tweaks that um, are good but are not groundbreaking so the first thing that we are going to see from this drone is the change from light bridge to OcuSync transmission technology. That doesn't really change anything that dramatically uh, besides you being able to use a couple of different devices without needing any cables. So if you want to use the DJI goggles, you will be able to do so wirelessly without any cables with this new drone. So this is the first update that we are seeing and I personally like the way that DJI is uh, heading towards OcuSync in all of their devices. Until now we had Phantom 4 Pro with Lightbridge, uh, Mavic Pro with OcuSync and Mavic Air with Wi-Fi transmission, enhanced Wi-Fi transmission technology and Spark with just a simple Wi-Fi. So hopefully they will all uh, head towards OcuSync for all of their future drones because OcuSync is very reliable and allows you to connect your devices wirelessly to your drone. But this is a small uh, change. It doesn't really change the flight distance that you can achieve with this drone. It's the same. It's seven kilometers if you're based in a place which uses FCC networks. And if you're based in Europe where we have CE networks, it's four kilometers. So it's the same distance as the regular Phantom 4 Pro. Now, the next change is they have changed the ESC motors a bit like the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Pro Platinum. So uh, updated ESC motors and the motors are now uh, with different design. Uh, but the biggest thing that we are going to see from this Phantom 4 Pro 2 uh, that is uh, going to be a massive difference from the regular Phantom 4 Pro is the propellers. Now they have a different tip that is a bit uh, slanted to the side and uh, that uh, actually makes the drone a bit quieter. So again, just like the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Pro Platinum, we are seeing a new ESC design and quieter propellers. Unfortunately, that doesn't change the flight time that we're going to get from that drone. So it's the same 30 minutes maximum flight time. In addition, a small but interesting change from DJI is that they are now uh, releasing this drone with a golden DJI logo on top of it. So that makes the difference between the regular Phantom 4 Pro and the Phantom 4 Pro 2.0 a bit more massive massive you know but that's it basically we have new props new esc motors ocusync instead of light bridge and the price is 14.99 but unfortunately you cannot buy the regular phantom 4 pro anymore so they have uh, uh, changed that and now you're only able to go for a 2.0 version um, from now on so what do i think about this drone well um 
it's definitely not for me. I'm definitely going to wait for something better, maybe the Phantom 5 or the Mavic Pro 2. I'm a huge fan of more portable drones, just like my Mavic Air. Uh, but I also realize that sometimes you need a bigger body to fit all the, uh, the technology inside and the bigger sensor of the camera. So I might jump to a Phantom 5 once it gets released, but for now, I don't want to promise anything. We'll see one, once we see that drone released. Hopefully that will be soon, but who knows? I'm not going to jump into the rumors game anymore. I don't really like that. So I'm going to link that drone in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself, maybe see more details on DJI's official website. But for now, this is the Phantom 4 Pro 2.0 and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what do you think about this new drone and um, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao.